So here is the first bed. This is the Better Boy tomato, and as you can see, the tomatoes are really obvious. Um, they're getting a nice good size. There's something going on with the plant um, that the leaves are just not growing really anymore. I'm not really sure if this is that like leaf curl disease or what I need to do for that, but it's just kind of stalled out in terms of growth. So I don't know if this is a determinate tomato variety and this was the intended height for the plant, but that's about it. Down here is the sucker that I pulled off of the original and it seems to be uh, doing fine right now. Over here we have the three delicious variety of tomatoes. There are no tomatoes just yet. Oh, well, I was gonna say it looks like I had aphids, but no aphids, yay. I did find aphids on one of my plants this week. One of my tomato plants. These are looking very nice. Uh, so we have three varieties in here. Blue Lake bush beans, strike uh, bush beans right here. Contender beans, actually I have four variety contender beans and I don't know what these ones that I planted after the fact are, uh, but there are tons of beautiful blooms and some small green beans. Here is the first little green bean right there. And here are a ton of flowers. So they are looking really healthy overall. Most of the bunching on them has stopped. And then you can see here that the irrigation was put in the drip line and that was put in, in all three of the beds. Here we have the Clemson spineless okra. That's probably my healthiest looking okra. That one was nibbled a little. That one was uh, a little bit behind the curve. There was a second one right next to it that actually died. Um, this one over here is doing pretty well. As is this one. There are a few ears of corn, right, or stalks of corn. I don't know if I'm gonna get ears of corn. We'll see what comes of those. Here are the sunflowers. They are looking tall and beautiful. And then the lettuce, also still hanging in there. I didn't feel like it would hang in there through the heat, but it really has. Not really sure what is going on with this leaf. That just doesn't look good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch that off. And this poor little sunflower down here, he just keeps trying, but I don't think he's gonna make it. And then here are three homestead variety of tomatoes. I don't know what that guy is. They are looking beautiful as well. I just can't stop admiring these tomatoes. On to the middle bed. Over here we have my tallest sunflower. This is a six foot pole. Um, so it's maybe just a little bit past halfway up there. A little spider hiding down in there. It's looking healthy. And then there are one, two, three more right here of this um, sun gold variety. Here is the pineapple tomato. No flowers yet, but I feel like it might be trying soon. Here's the volunteer green zucchini squash that just popped up. It's starting to get some um, buds that are showing up down near the base here. This is the Tabasco pepper. It's got more leaves and stuff coming on in the middle. You can see this beautiful uh, patty pan squash flower. We have beet corner here and here. No beets still. And then we have our six eggplants. You can really start to see them growing. I would definitely say they're at the first rung. Here is the first bag of potatoes. We have sprouts coming up everywhere. The 
second bag of potatoes, more sprouts, and then the third bag is in another location. Cantaloupe are finally starting to do something. There's one, two, three. This is the one that was the most eaten up. It's still trying to come back. And then the other two are really starting to vine out a little. I still don't think they're going to be very successful, so I do plan to replace those, but um, there they are. Here's the Swiss chard. So over here, the first three plants, one, two, three, are Ford Hook Swiss chard, which has white stalks. And then we have Rainbow Swiss chard. Here are the uh, most densely packed tomatoes over here. So this front section here, there are six Tiffin Mennonite tomatoes, and they have more of those potato leaf varieties. Here is the other potato bag, and this might be the one that has the sweet potato in it as well. And here are the um, German Johnson tomatoes. There are six of them in two rows. This is the third and final bed, and to me, the most fun one. Up front here, we have our bell peppers in the four cages. They are recovering from getting just perpetually eaten. Tried all kinds of stuff. I don't know how to stop the eating. If you know what's eating them, let me know. Here we have our jalapeno peppers. You can see that they're really trying to take off here. This one in the middle is the most pathetic and the most eaten. And then that one towards the back is doing a little better. Better, They are recovering. And this is my most weedy bed, of course. Here are the broccoli, which I believe will not become anything because of the uh, temperatures. It's been in the mid-high 90s all week. And you can see that there is leaf miner damage there as well. Here we have our two plants deep, three different varieties. So these are the stu super beefsteak tomatoes, these are the super sweet 100s, and these are the honey gold um, pear-shaped delight things. They are growing along. These on the left here, the super beefsteak, seem to be struggling as well. I don't know health-wise what is going on with them if they also have the same you know, crippling leaf disease as the other ones do. Here are the acorn squash. They just keep blooming like crazy. The first female um, zucchini squash that was on here, it was pollinated, but I don't know if it was pollinated well enough and it turned yellow and fell off. So now we have another one. You can kind of see it right there. So hopefully... Ooh. Hopefully that one sticks around and continues to grow. But there are many other there are many other female flowers on these acorn squash and they just look so beautiful. I love seeing all the flowers every single day. We have our loofahs and I strung this wire along the top here to guide them over to the fence. I opted for that instead of taking it to the tree. I think it'll be better and Buster won't get them. Buster's my dog. Um, and he has a taste for plants. Um, but look how much they have grown. My goodness. This one grew up this four foot pole and I need to start training it to come towards the fence here. But that happened in a week, which is unbelievable. And over there, that one, towards the back right there, that one will for sure be caught up by the time we see this next week. You can see it's making its way towards the top there. And this front one is the one that's a little bit slower, but you can see it is reaching and growing as well. Here are our peanut plants. And then over here, couple of surprises. The first one is some Kajari melons that are starting to pop up here. So I have three. I planted five seeds. I got three melons. I had a fourth one pop up right next to that, but um, it passed away. It was a really hot day and it just couldn't make it. And then right behind it, we have another peanut plant that has popped up. 